In this video, I'm going to go ahead and show some of the tips and tricks to get started whenever you're working with textures and materials inside of Unity. Now this is actually two pieces that you have to take into consideration. One is creating the project, but also you're going to be working externally to Unity to make sure that you can load up and pull in your textures that will become your materials. Now, here I am, I have started with a basic Unity project, and all I've added to the scene is several 3D game objects, the cube, the sphere, and the cylinder. Each one of these is going to be used to demonstrate uh, as far as each of the different types of textures. Now, you can also notice though, whenever you create a blank project, all you're going to have is a scenes folder in your assets folder. For organizational purposes, I strongly encourage you to think about in terms of having folders for specifically created materials and textures or original files as I'll sometimes call them. So what I'm gonna do here is under assets, before I go external, I'm gonna right click here and choose to create a folder. And I'm going to name this materials. In this folder, this is where I am going to store any and all created materials by me. Now, if you are downloading a pre-made asset, I would not move their materials into this folder. Leave the folder structure as is, as far as the design and layout. Again, a friendly reminder, note that you have an outline here as far as materials is concerned versus the scenes folder. This is a notation to you that there's nothing in this folder yet. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and create another folder and I'm going to call this textures. Textures are normally the 2D element graphical images in modeling and other programs that are the basis for materials. So I'm going to use this folder to store all of my different assets here. Now lastly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and minimize for a second. And what I did was I went to Pixabay and I grabbed two textures, stones and grass. So now what I can do is in my Explorer, remember when you create your Unity project, remember where you're saving that Unity project, because now will be the time you want to go in, navigate to where you have your Unity project, locate the assets, and under the textures folder in my case, I'm going to highlight both of these by clicking and dragging with a marquee selection, drag and drop them in. At this point, if I navigate back into Unity, notice now how the color of the folder for textures has changed. If I double click there, you can actually see both of the textures now popping up. I'm now ready to begin creating my materials. So I'm going to go back one level to assets and come into the material folder. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create a material that will go ahead and be placed onto my cube here. So I'm going to right click in the blank area and I'm going to choose to create and I'm going to scroll down here and you're looking for material. I'm going to go ahead and click and I'm going to call this lowercase m underscore grass. Just as a note, this comes from me working in other different environments where whenever you're searching through to find materials, what people will often do is we will use the first letter of the term of the item that we're looking for, followed by an underscore and then a descriptive name. So now let's just imagine I had 100 materials in here as far as my project went spread across the project in different folders. I could come up to the search and start typing M underscore and all of the materials would come up for me. I wouldn't have to worry about remembering the specific name of what type of grass I was using. So once you've done that, the very basics of creating a material that has a texture applied to it is if you go over into the inspector, notice there is a section called the albedo. You have a color picker here, but right next to it, it can be a little hard to see. It almost looks like a little mini bullseye. If you click on that, you're going to get a pop-up that's going to ask you to select your textures. And notice, because I placed the textures into the Unity game assets, both that grass and stone is popping up. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and click on grass. And when you do that, what you should see happen is you should see down at the bottom now in the little preview window of your material, you should now see the grass being applied. So I'm going to go ahead and X out of this now that I have applied my texture. And the next step is, you just come in, you click drag, and drop onto the object in the scene that you'd like the material to be applied to. 
Now if I go ahead, I'm going to kind of fly in for a second so you can see it a little bit better. You can now see the base texture being applied. This is a very basic material, just from the standpoint of if you're looking at it, it looks very flat. In future videos, we will get into as far as adding the normal and the height maps as far as being able to give a little bit more depth and shadow to these. However, one thing that you may want to do with other examples is you may want to work with the tiling. So let's go ahead here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump over here to my cylinder and I'm going to make a second material. So once again, I'm going to right click in my work area down in my project. I'm going to choose create. I'm going to go back to material. This time I'll do M underscore stones. Now I'm going to follow the same process here where I'm going to go ahead and next to Albedo, I'm going to click on that little bullseye and I'm going to choose stones. This will actually be, in my opinion, a better example or a better demo for everybody. Whereas you can see when I click drag and drop here, especially on the sides, you can see how flat the material looks here. However, I can come in now and there's an option over here called tiling that can actually tweak as far as how spread out your material shows. So for instance here, like if I change this to five and five, you see how it actually shrinks down the material and what Unity will try to do for you is change as far as the layout goes. So it looks a little bit more realistic as far as making this look like a larger pillar than it actually is. The last item to demonstrate is just a solid color material. So let's make one more material here. So I'm going to right click once again, say create, and I'm going to say material, and I'm going to do M underscore purple. Now instead of worrying about using the small bullseye here, I'm just going to come over to the color picker next to Albedo. And I'm going to go ahead, use my color picker, get a color, and hit enter. I can now go ahead and just drag and drop this onto the object, and I've just applied a regular color. You can play around with this a little bit as far as how metallic the color will look. So the tighter I make that, you can see if you watch as far as the lighting is concerned. You can see how you get that much more kind of metallic circular glow there. And you can also change as far as the smoothness of the object. So I can even take the smoothness up and also kind of take up the metallic a little bit to get that super reflective type of material going on. So starting out in Unity, these three items alone will take you pretty far as far as starting out with your games.